Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey guys, G Forever here, and we got the brand new SH Monster Arts Godzilla and Kong. And here's another Hobby Link Japan box. Oh yeah, yep. So, looks like uh, uh, this is uh, Heisenberg's favorite place to shop. Yes, and these cost <laughs> about fifty-seven dollars each, plus shipping. Once again, shipping is very expensive. But yeah, uh, yeah we got the most expensive shipping because we like to get the these fast, things quickly, fastest. Yeah, because yep, we want to bring them to you as soon as possible. Yes. So yeah, if you uh, you know if you can just keep uh, watching our videos, uh, please hit the subscribe button to help us out. Yeah, but I think I I think they do always ship it uh, securely here. I like how they uh, how they do it. Yeah, they did an excellent job this time around, both for the um, SH Monster Arts Godzilla and Kong, as well as the um, uh, Bandai uh, Mecha Godzilla, which uh, ships separately. Okay, so um, I think that's my, yeah. is that my Kong. That's your Kong. I, I even, left it. Yeah, it's got, got more protection. Extra, even extra layer of protection. Excellent. Yeah. So your Kong is waiting for you. So as soon as you get your your vaccine, come on over and yes. pick him up. <laughs> yes, yes. All righty, then. Here's Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah, very shiny boxes they look like. Very colorful. And looks like they like they actually uh, you can kind of put them together and make a little image. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is yeah, rather nicely done. Yeah. So... Yeah. Looks like they got a lot. It looks like they're getting more and more uh, little uh, logos on these things. Yeah, I, I guess they just they love logos. So you have the Monster Art SH Monster Arts logo on the upper left hand corner, and you have the MonsterVerse logo on the right. Of course, you have the title Godzilla vs Kong, and they want to make it clear to you this is Godzilla from Godzilla vs Kong. But yeah, that Tamashi Nation's quality Tam one. Yeah, is that relatively new. I, I think that. um it might be it might be around uh but yeah you have the legendary logo Toho logo the new Godzilla like fake sticker and then you have uh Tamashi Nations quality Tamashi Nations yeah so you got two Tamashi Bandai. Nations yep yeah, oh, yeah. yeah just to make sure you know it's from Tamashi Nations oh yeah here oh this is nice you can actually <laughs> see them yeah oh, actually, so this is interesting oh, 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 I, did, I just uh, remembered they didn't have like the shipping box though like usually there's a plain no. cardboard box that no, goes around so, the, the colorful yeah. box. Yeah, they didn't include the shipping box, which is a little unfortunate. Um, I think it depends on the sellers. I think Hobby Link Japan's one of them that sometimes the, uh, they do remove the shipping box. Hmm. Okay, um, so you think there is one. It's just that they there, took it There off. is one. They took it out, which sometimes I, I prefer if they keep it just for extra layer of uh, protection, but they probably did it to save on the shipping costs or something. Yeah, interesting. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it looks like Kong's. I'm surprised how much smaller Kong's box is. Yes, <laughs> that maybe because he doesn't have a tail. Yeah, uh, the tail is the tail probably adds uh, a lot to the size of the box. But um, yeah, as I was saying, like it's interesting that they they did the boxes this way. Um, normally they have like the clear window in the front, and then you have the back is like the um, image. Um, or at least like the, you have the partial image on the front and the window, and then the back is just like different photos of the figure. Uh, but it looks like they took a different approach. They, um, they just showed the, just a full image in the front and then in the back, they showed a few images plus the window. Right. right. Um, yeah. So, uh, interesting, uh, that they did it this way. My guess is they did it this way. So you can actually display the boxes. So people like me who keep boxes, uh, maybe they, you know, uh, try to convince us to display the boxes um, so right. you can see the front. Yeah, okay, here the they box. are. So yeah, yep. it looks like it's Here's out of the packaging. Nice safe packaging. But it looks yeah, like there's secure. a lot, a lot of the pieces that come with uh, Kong here. Yeah, Kong has a lot of accessories. So it looks like he has, uh, you know, a different face, uh, one closed mouth, one open mouth. Um, looks like a couple, you know, a couple sets of uh, hands, yeah, and of course the battle axe. Yeah, so what's all the hands? Uh, so what are all the hands that Kong has? Yeah, so let's take a look at them. So um, out of the box, he has the closed fist, so it's just more like punching. Uh, but let's look at the battle axe before we look at the hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, check out this battle axe. This is probably the, the best battle axe uh, to date uh, that's released. You can really see, like, the bone feature. Uh, and then you can see, like, uh, looks like some kind of uh, leather or, or skin wrapped around the... Uh, uh, back fin of Godzilla there. Oh, yeah, my one surprise is how thin the, the battle axe is. It doesn't have like a much thickness to it. No, and it's very light. It does really feel like a like a bone. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah, here's the roaring roaring face of Kong. Yes, yeah, so now here's all these hands. So yep. yeah, so you got one fist completely closed. 
Yep. What else? And is you there? have you have another set of fists that has a little bit open, so you can actually hold the battle axe or other accessories. Um, and then you have some sort of like uh, like a crawling, like the knuckle knuckle. Yeah, pose. one where he can crawl on his knuckles. Knuckles, and then you have like this open open hand, like almost like if he's saying hi to you. Yeah, yeah, the um, open like the open raised hand. Open raised hand. Yep. There he so, is. There, there is Kong. Now, yeah, what do you think of this, uh, like, closed mouth head? Because I've seen a lot of people comment on it. I think the closed mouth head could be better. It looks too, like, just too too normal. Like, I think they should have added a little more emotion to it. Yeah, some people um, say he's, like, looks, he's kind of pensive. Like, he's, like, thinking. Thinking, yeah. Uh, thinking yeah, or, I would say. Uh, which, yeah. yeah, which, it, actually, I think it looks, uh, it actually seems okay to me, but. But uh, but yeah, yeah. I think for an action figure, you probably want something more. I don't know, more emotion. But in the movie, he does look at the battle axe and he's thinking. So um, you can kind of recreate that scene. Um, but uh, I I have the the roaring head pose uh, right now, and uh, I I'm liking the roaring head. And what do you think of the eyes? The eyes look a little dark. Yeah, the whole the whole Kong is actually looks really dark on this figure. I think I don't know why, but like especially the face area. So like if you don't have a lot of light, you can't really see his eyes um, or his face much. But right now we have lots of light, so you can see the details. Um, and the details are good. Um, it's just you can't see them without bright lights. Right, right. Yeah, there's the battle scars. Yeah, what? How would you describe the color on him? He looks kind of brown, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, very uh, like um, lots of brown. It's actually I feel it's he's a little too dark, but um, if they toned down the darkness on him, I think he would. Uh, you know, you can see see more of the the paint better. In the video, we have a lot of light, so you can see the brown sh uh, show up better. But in person, um, unless you have lots of light, he's a little dark. Yeah, yeah. So it looks is it all? And it looks like there's there are different shades of color here. It's not there all is. just one. Yeah, different shades of brown. Yeah. So you get a lot of variations around the fur. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, it is it's a cool figure. Um and there's tons of articulation, but the downside of uh, with a lot of articulation, there's a lot of gaps um all over the figure and uh depending on how you pose them, you'll see a lot of uh open spaces uh around his body. And uh and of course, being a monster arts, uh they still haven't figured out how to keep the um the parts together so um kong falls apart a lot oh yeah as we'll see yeah the uh but yeah yeah yeah. i like uh the texture i like the sculpt the like the like the texture on him to simulate yeah. the fur uh, yep. yeah how do you like that i like the texture yeah it does it does simulate the fur a lot even though it's not like the um like a like a like a furry t uh figure uh um, yep, yep. but at least uh the texture of the sculpt does um resemble the fur a lot yeah then his hand came off already yep so like so let you and there it goes came off again yeah and then the head came off head so came let you, off let you know <laughs> let you know this is a monster this is a arts. monster arts yep and the foot um the left foot comes off a lot on, on me so you'll, you might see that later on in the video but yeah it looks like you're having fun playing with the, trying the articulation <laughs> out so try the articulation so but it looks I'm like having... it take, takes a little patience i get i take it yes uh it's a little frustrating if you want to uh, pose him and then you know his body parts fall over so yeah you gotta yeah yeah it sounds like you gotta have a little patience it's not yeah you can't you can't be quite as rough and tumble with them like like with the playmates nope yeah there goes the hand again <laughs> but yeah was, uh, but i but i get the impression that the uh that there's just tons of articulation yeah you can get... do lots of poses um and i think you can even make some fun uh fun you know fun stills with him like get some cool photos but i'm just uh you know just playing around here i think this is like a crawling yeah 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 like so these are the crawling hands knuckles. yep just showing off the different hands but see as you see like his shoulder if you need to really pose him well otherwise you see all the gaps um yeah i just gotta try to ignore that and then he lost a hand and a foot yes <laughs> All right, time to put it back. Oh, yeah, on. yeah. Then here's the yeah the raised hand. The raised hand, yep. But yeah, it seems like you got to just kind of ignore the gaps. Oh yeah, and then here, this is not our photo, so at least I'll try put the uh, 
credits about who did these in the description. But mm. I found online, like on Twitter and Facebook, some really fun uh, uh, oh, yeah. uh, photos. This is of, a nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, that really show off all the articulation you can do with <laughs> Kong. I like this. And this is a favorite of mine. Oh, sad, this is a really good one. Sad Kong there. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, I think that's a great feature that that there is such great uh, articulation. Articulation. Okay. So here yeah. he is that the hands. Here's the hands that can hold the battle axe and the open yes. mouth. Yes. Yep. So I have both uh, left and right arm with the kind of like a little bit more open fist. But yeah, this is kind of simulating how he was in the movie when he, when he first gets the battle axe and he's roaring. Yeah, uh, they sculpted kind of, the inside of his mouth well too. Very well. Yeah. I think they did a really good job of the. Uh, of the sculpture oh, yeah, so yeah beautiful. he's kind of pro proclaiming that he's uh, king of uh, hollow earth here oh yeah very cool yep but yeah it's just uh, you can see the side gap under the armpit but yeah. yeah just have to just have to pose him like you know spend some time like we're just doing a quick review here so didn't uh spend a lot of time trying to pose him right just kind of want to show you what this figure looks like so oh, there goes the head no oh, and here's godzilla. all right let's look at godzilla yeah let's give kong a break here he's uh, falling apart so this is godzilla straight out from the box and it looks like he actually starts off with uh the new hand sculptures which uh, are really great um and uh i i actually um do like the like the blue on him uh it really resembles um that early scene in the movie uh where he kind of attacks uh was it Pens pensacola uh florida and um you can actually recreate that roaring scene um yeah, <clears throat> at the end but my favorite feature is the uh the lit up uh back fins on the on the tail um that looks very nice yeah 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 the blue goes all the way down yeah and we're having a little trouble with the with the camera focus, but let's. But yeah, get so it how back. would you describe this uh, uh, this uh, paint, this blue blue on his on the spikes? I take it it's not all one color, and it's very shiny. Oh, there's it's it's very metallic actually, right. um, but yes, it's a lot of different um, types of. Uh, you have the blues, you have a little darker, maybe like a grayish, uh, not gray, maybe like almost like the body color like that dark olive green around them um just to give some texture to the back fins and um they actually uh added some of the brown uh or brownish yellow paint on the body similar to the 2014 monster arts on the uh, like from the neck down to his chest yeah it looks like the so, blue eyes look good too yeah actually i was surprised like i i I like I actually started liking this figure more than I thought I I wouldn't because I really don't like the mouth um of the that blue looks like just uh, he Godzilla did, had too much toothpaste or something but um the more I I, I have him in person here the uh, it's not as terrible but it is a little distracting but I'm starting to warm up to him a little bit cuz the blue in the eyes uh, reflect very well and um I guess like in the movie, he does have the, his mouth lit up a lot. Um, I think the biggest downfall of this figure is he doesn't have his uh, fire breath, um, which previous uh, you know releases he did. Right, right. But yeah, yeah, look at these spikes. It looked like there's like maybe part of it is like a few different shades there, like maybe a little little blue and a little green. Yes, yes, yep. Yeah, and, so, um, yeah, yeah, and the hands, and again, he has two sets of hands. Two sets of hands. So uh, right now, this that's the new set, uh, which I love. Like the new set looks like he's re really ready to to fight, um, and they, they have the old set of hands, which you've seen in the 2019 figures, um, which I think they could have probably ignored or, or maybe like changed it up or something. Yeah, but you can recreate the crawling pose. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like the, movie. the uh, yeah, yeah. I, really, I like the crawling po pose more than I would have expected. Yeah, and here they are together. Yep. So yeah, we can see the two side by side. We just need the Mecha Godzilla now. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of uh, Kong has his legs bent a lot, so that may maybe makes him look a little shorter. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Fight time. Yep. 
get that fight going. But yeah, I think this, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this open mouth on, uh, on Kong is, uh, yeah, yeah, is very fun. Yeah, it really, really gives him like uh, that battle feeling. Like he's really uh, ready for for a fight. If you have the closed mouth, it's gonna be hard to, you know, kind of oh, here we go. You're put them to together see, or something else. Trying to see if you can get the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks like the the battle axe might be a little too big in yeah, in to, figure form. Yeah, to go into Godzilla's, uh, Godzilla's mouth. mouth. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. And Kong keeps losing his uh, foot there. <laughs> yeah, the, as you see, the foot came off. So poor Kong, poor Kong, poor Kong. Yeah, I was trying to recreate that roaring scene. Um, yeah, in the movie. So oh yeah, so here we got the playmates. Yes, Playmates Battle Axe Kong. Yeah, also on the right. also with the open mouth. Yep. And this is the uh, Monster Arts Kong with the Battle Axe. So yeah, they're very similar in size. They are, yes. Um, and I think both. Surprise. I like both these battle axes. You like? Yeah. Both of them? Yeah, I do too. But I think the Monster Arts one is definitely much more detailed, so it's more realistic. But he, he, the Playmates one is still pretty nice. The Playmates one is actually thicker. It's like, very thick. Yeah. Yeah the, yeah. the actual like uh, blade there. Yeah, and I'm actually afraid to like um, like swing the Monster Arts battle axe because it does feel fragile. It feels very thin. Like you can snap it. But uh, the monster art, uh, sorry, the uh, Playmates one is definitely thicker. I don't have to worry yeah. about it. Breaking. Here's NECA King Kong. Very, yeah, so very tall. Very tall and very detailed. I'm actually liking the NECA more, um, uh, you know, when I, when I actually put them in the comparison videos. So there's a lot of detail going on. And if you even look at NECA's, like, battle scars, they're actually dug into the sculpt. Um, so mm. it's not just, like, a, a brushed line. Yeah, this is the movie Monster Arts. That was the movie Monster Arts Kong. Yep. Yeah. So let's look at the Playmates Heat Ray Godzilla. This is Heisenberg's favorite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So even Playmates gave him a fire breath. So I'm not sure why uh, Monster Arts um, decided to remove his fire breath. Yeah, so it looks like the movie Monster Ar Arts is, or excuse me, the, uh, yeah, yeah, the SH Monster Arts Monster is Arts. a little, is maybe just a little bigger. Yep. Yeah, but there's a lot more detail on the spikes and throughout the body. Right. Okay, so this is the 2019 on the left. Yes. Yep. It is. Now, are they so, the same shade of color, or are they slightly different shades of color? Uh, it's actually different. So if you look at it, okay, I think so you the, couldn't. Yeah. So you might not be able to like swap swap heads. Yeah. Unfortunately, if you swap heads, one, I think the 2019 might be slightly, slightly. Uh, shinier for the for the head whereas it's more of a matte color on the 2021 yeah i'm not even sure we don't even know offhand if the ball joint is the same it probably is I've, it probably is one so one thing i want to note like um i think in the 21 they changed godzilla's foot to have a small like the smaller uh toes uh similar to the 2014 movie but they did not do that on the the monster arts figure they just looks like they just reissued the uh, 2019 foot here. Yep, yep. But yeah, so it looks like it's mostly the same sculpture. Yeah, it's it, it's a it looks like it's the same sculpture. The only thing they changed were, were the hands, uh, but you still have the original set of hands, um, like this original sculpt sculpted hands, so you can yeah. put those back on. Yeah, so you probably could swap the heads then if you wanted to. But like I said, the the color. The, or maybe the paint w wouldn't quite match. Yeah, if you look at the hands here, you can see that um, the 2019 is darker. Right. And a little more, sh I guess, a little more glossy compared to the um, the 2021. But I like the the new set of hands. It really looks like he's like grabbing or clawing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably very good for toy photography, too. Yeah. Let's put the back fins side by side. So the original doesn't have any glow, uh, and the the new one does uh, show off the blue a lot. But the back fins are not translucent, which oh, I'm yeah. surprised. Here's, I think here's our favorite. Who's this guy? Yep. Uh, this is the movie. Was it the movie poster? Is that what they call it? I forget. Uh, S6 Monster Arts movie poster. Yeah, this was hard to get. This came with the Blu-ray in Japan. Yeah, you can you can only get get it from the Blu-ray. Uh, if you bought the movie, 
in Japan with the Blu-ray set. And I think there were a bunch of different versions, like a Godzilla store one, like Amazon version and, and yeah, a couple other ones. A lot more blue than uh than the 2021 here. Yeah, and it's a translucent figure, which I think is a plus because um, when you have the light on it, it it really uh, shines uh, pretty well. And the blue on the on this 2019 movie poster one, I I like more. Um, the only thing is they overdid the tail. Like I like the way the 2021 tail looks because that's kind of what the movie um, had this tail like kind of lit up at the at the spikes only. But the the other one, the movie poster version, like it's just blue throughout, but um, they make it really shiny. So, yeah. So is the poster version your favorite? Or, or, I think or... it's still my favorite of the 2019 um, Monster Arts Godzilla because that blue is really nice. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wish they just did, hadn't, hadn't made it so hard to get. I know, I know. And so he's got it's, blue in his mouth, but it's not. But yeah, it's reasonable. It's not yeah, uh, distracting. It's not distracting like the twenty twenty one version. It's because the the paint they use it just kind of looks like uh, toothpaste, uh, minty minty blue. Well, and also and... it's sort of it's. <laughs> I think it's just too much on his like uh, like yeah. There's on his gums, gums and teeth. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So this is the uh, okay. So there's there's the three three of them together. Yep. Yeah, I didn't bring the burning one because that one's just too different. Right. Um, oh, and there's also that uh, that Comic Con or or event exclusive, which I didn't show either. But I think these three are the most comparable to to look at. Yeah, and the hands. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, yeah, the hands hands are interesting there. And this yep. looks like uh, NECA. Yeah, NECA. If you don't want to spend, if you want to spend uh, one third the cost. Um, or maybe actually the the standard's not too much, right? So maybe half the cost you can go with the NECA. But nowadays NECA is uh, is no longer making good, no longer has the Godzilla line. So if you want to get this guy, he might be uh, costing more on the aftermarket. Yeah, and here's V version two NECA. Version two. Yeah, yep. that's NECA's blue version. Yep. And this version also comes with a fire breath. So poor poor twenty one monster arts. He is the uh, he's the one without a fire breath. Yeah, the here. NECA's got a lot more blue on him. Yeah, it does. And you can see all those vines. Yeah, veins. Kong, <laughs> Kong, poor Kong is still poor sad, Kong. but uh, Godzilla's there to help him out. Yep. <laughs> Great picture. And Kong is awesome. Like He has lots of articulation. The sculpt is really good. I think he's a little too dark. Um, if, if you, if maybe light him up a little bit uh, so you can you know see more of his face. Um, yeah, I like the way he looks a lot. Oh yeah, very glad, very glad we got these. Yeah. Okay, this is all right. This is Heisenberg, and G Forever hoping enjoy the SX Monster Arts Godzilla and Kong, twenty twenty one. <laughs> 